in warmer climates at this time of the year, specifically in Florida, in Arizona, and California, the best baseball players in the whole world are gathering. And they're gathering for an annual spring event. We call it spring training. And these great athletes gather in these places to begin to train themselves for an ongoing long baseball season. And in order to do that, there are at least three very important things that they must do. First, they haven't played baseball for several months. And so, number one, they gotta get in shape. Lots of running in the outfield, calisthenics, and all that stuff to get themselves in the prime physical condition for the long season ahead. Second, they've got to begin to rehone those gifts and talents, those skills that make a baseball player great. Endless hours in the batting cage, honing their swing, getting it down perfectly. Many hours in the outfield, shagging flies, ground balls. And the third thing they have to do is get a winning attitude. Because without that winning attitude, they'll never be able to be a team. And they hone these skills of their athleticism and their specific baseball skills and their winning attitude for one particular reason. And that is to play baseball in October, to get to the World Series. The Christian community today on Ash Wednesday begins a very special spring training of its own, and it's an annual ritual. We call it Lent. And the readings in the scriptures for today's Mass tell us about the important skills that this particular annual spring training requires of us. First, there is a goal. And the goal is articulated by the prophet Joel when he says, rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord. That's what we're called to do, to return to the Lord. And how do we do that? Well, Jesus tells us in his Sermon on the Mount in Matthew's Gospel, there are three very important traditional ideas, virtues, actions that are part of this important season. First is to pray. And we all pray, hopefully, every day, but to pray more fervently, to pray more, to get more involved in our prayer life and our relationship with God. Second, almsgiving. Hopefully, we give to people throughout the year, but maybe in a more fervent sense, in the sense that we do so in solidarity with those that have so much less than we do. And thirdly, to fast. And not only to fast to just simply lose weight and to look good, but to realize that there are millions of people throughout the world who haven't got the opportunity to eat three meals that we can each and every day of our lives. Many people who go without in so many ways. So the Lord gives us this opportunity, this spring training in the faith, to pray more, to consider what we can do for our brothers and sisters in need, and thirdly, to fast and to be in solidarity with so many. This is an important time in our Christian development, and it's an important time in our annual Christian faith. So as we begin this discipline of Lent, our spring training in the faith, let us consider what we can do, because the goal ultimately is not to get to the World Series, and it's not to win the Stanley Cup or the Super Bowl. Our goal is to reach life eternal.